clock All is. Right. That makes it Zarathos' turn, and he is going to take a active position right here. Actually, he's going to stand here since he's a forward defending fighter and like raise his shield and basically Leroy's prepare what's that Leroy's not on the list Leroy has to share a uh, Leroy and Clarence have to share initiative with the ogre only uh only what's his okay. fuck is special okay but yeah he posts up right there and shields up Cetra. Right. Um, nice. And that would make it Ursul's turn. That or Wedge, I'm not sure which of you had the higher base stat for your initiative. Uh, my, wow. my base. Yeah. She, uh, he, he'll go first because he has a plus three. Yeah. There you go. Wedge, your turn. Well, seeing this predicament our lovely friends got us in, I'm gonna take your self preservation mode and start shooting arrows at it. Alright. Then I draw my long bow and I launch an arrow at the zombie. Alright. Make your. That out of a make coffin. your various rolls, good sir. Roll first one's a D one hundred. Axel, choose high or low. High. All right. If it's high, as you said, it will be a poison coated one. If it's low, it'll be a right. It's a low. It's a regular arrow. <laughs> do, 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 back to equipment. Actions. One D twenty plus seven. I feel like Clarence is shit talking me at Draconic. I'm paying twenty bucks to know if. Oh, that's a hit. Done. Uh, never mind. Right. So one D eight plus. This rate, we're going to be exhausted for our show tomorrow night. I mean, oh, oh, wow, I ruined minimum damage. Uh, yeah, you did. Wonderful. Yeah, you did, man. No, don't worry. We will. We will sleep before our show tomorrow. I mean, think about it. Most of us here are elves. I'm a half elf. I need sleep. Yeah. So, are you doing anything else good, Sir Wedge? Wedge, you doing anything else? Nope. Alrighty. That's my one attack this turn. Ursul. Yeah, yeah, I know. It's going to look at that thing, and it is aware of what, you know, what Clarence had said, so it is sitting, it's heavy behind the back, it's Staying away from that thing, because it can't do anything to it. <laughs> uh, but that's her turn. That's what Ursula's turn is. So she's just kind of sitting back on um, Florence's um, neck, just paying attention, not going to follow that one up. But does kind of warn um Carly of it might be dangerous. You don't say. And it, 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 it kind of shrinks back, shrinks back. Like, okay, yeah, thank you for the. Yeah, I was just trying to. Somewhat I put my I put my hand on her shoulder and I say thank you, dear. I wouldn't have even known that the orc that just came out of a tomb is dangerous. That's why I'm and like, I, I'm thinking and saying it probably is. Uh, you know, that's probably something undead, right? Roddy. You know, I would have lost my mind. Okay, Do sorry. Do I hear that at all? 
the interaction between them or the thing that Clarence says? The the, the, the interaction between them. Uh, I mean, unless they were being secretive, you're pretty close-ish, you know, 50, 40 feet, right? 30 feet. Didn't really even count. 30 feet. That's, you probably hear the gist of what they're saying. It is very much undead. I pat Florence's hair. What did I do? You're a good egg. And then, is that the end of your turn? Because I can take my turn then. Right no, the that's, that's, that's what Florence, not, not Florence, but Ursula, that was her turn. Her turn was mainly just saying, nope, I'm not dealing with that. I'm going to shoot it with a crossbow. That is so cocked. That's a two plus um, five. So two plus five is seven. Not quite. Not quite. And then I will move to up on this other other one oh, right here alrighty and that's my turn okay that makes it the ogre's turn also Clarence and Leroy uh, Leroy quickly says I'm a lover not a fighter and uh, books it behind Clarence. Fair. Clarence steps That's down fair. here. Ah, shit. Oh, no. Oh, no. And uh, f uh, immediately shit. flies into the air. Like uh, 15 yeah. feet and just like, the floor is lava. <laughs> In common. I'm going to yell at, at Clarence. It is not real. Floor is lava. No, it isn't. Florence uh, is burning to death. <laughs> uh, at which point the ogre is going to come out. Uh, let's see where it comes out. If it's a uh, high or low. Hi. 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 <laughs> that was unlucky. Uh, but uh, honestly, we'll see how this guy even does. Oh, yeah, that guy hit you. I'm sorry. Unless there is something I'm missing, nope. but I don't think so. Nope, I have an armor class of 11. You are looking at it correctly. All right, I wanted to be sure. Uh, would you like the rolls or would you like the average? All about the dice baby it's all about the dice all right we're doing it sometimes it works 14 damage you pretty much got the average it's supposed to be plus four and i didn't get that in on time because i hit enter like a dumbass instead of plus gotcha but that's his turn that's uh that's everything he goes and uh like hits you with a club Probably rush you up real good, and then his turn's over. Meanwhile, Clarence just, lava, lava. I kind of egg him on, and I say, "Florence is burning to death." Oh my god! What? I wish for, uh, Florence is like, why are you antagonizing this? I'm chaotic neutral. I thought it would be fun. Yeah, but oh. right now he, he he's having as much delusions as you were right now. So please. You mean the one with that no one knocked her out of and then she like passed out and no one woke her up for like two turns and then she Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I get it. <laughs> but it's Florence's turn now. Also I couldn't hear y'all during my my delusion, so I don't think you actually hear us. Yeah, that is true. So it's your turn, Florence. Okay. In which Florence 
is going to do, 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 do. what is Lawrence going to do? Um How is this place being lit up, if I may ask? There seem to be like scones torches on the wall. Did you just say scones? Yeah. Do you mean sconces? Whatever, sconces, scones, they're all the same to me. I would, I, I would <laughs> putting one in your mouth is not as satisfying as putting the other in. Oh, your you mouth. haven't had the right <laughs> scones in your mouth, then, baby. <laughs> I know, I know, scones that look like they're inedible and made of complete garbage, but I promise, <laughs> just take the other way of it. Just like, uh, it's like I eat three sconces a day okay, with my so. crumpets. Going to uh, let's see what can Lawrence do. Um, Lawrence is going to use Majan, and is she able to poke uh, Clarence, like to get his attention to you know not. I mean, you could definitely try. We've established that the, the mage hand should definitely be able to be used for that. Okay, well, we'll do that. definitely a poke tool. Yeah, that, that, that works. Mage hand works. <laughs> She'll send that to Yeah, so she's going to poop. Clear the snoot. <laughs> Again, more, more of the snoot boopage in the game. That's what we've all dreamed of. I dream of it nightly. Which sounded creepier... Which didn't sound as creepy in my head when I said it in my head. Okay. Is so, <laughs> then awkward silence over? No. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, Florence doesn't know what else to do after that. Um. I'm assuming it's soon after that it's Louis' turn. Yeah, probably. Uh, okay. So I guess I will just move Drago there. And I don't want to get hit so easily. Um, I will just put a hand to my chest and cast Bark Skin. Nice. Very good spell. And that was my turn. All right. So currently, he has flanking position, which makes it the doll's turn. Doll's chilling. Cool. No, That's good. <laughs> <laughs> I assume. <laughs> uh, at which point, this guy sees that that is happening, and he's going to come on over and make. An attack roll. Really shitty attack roll. But a good one that hits nonetheless. I was gonna say advantage. He does have advantage, but even without it, he still didn't he didn't need advantage. Ah. Could be a twenty though. Could be. Let's see. Nope, close though. Nineteen. Oof. And he makes his second attack. And that is his turn. Which makes it Wedge's turn. Did he get flanking advantage? He did. Awesome. He got flanking and he got both attacks off and you saw him stab it twice. Wedge is going to pull an arrow out of his normal quiver, and he's going to uh, attack the uh, ogre zombie. Alrighty. And that would be advantage for me as well, right? Uh, I don't remember if they kept flanking for ranged or only kept it for melee in this version. I think it's just I only for melee. melee. Yeah. Only. I think so as well. I'd have to double check. Let's see. Should only take a second. I 
adjacent to an enemy yeah so technically you could still do a you know a ranged attack but just at melee range <laughs> Which oh, would <laughs> it would immediately uh, cancel out your disadvantage. It's as pointless. <laughs> Not if you only have a bow. Well, I don't have only a bow. I have a short sword and a whip as well. Well, there you go. Maybe just use does those. 13... Uh, thirteen does hit. All right. 1d8, and I believe it's plus 3 for my damage. Bless you! Thank you. Damn you! 1d8 plus 3. No! 5 damage! One more than last time! I'm so useful against this thing. I mean... I don't even think I hit it. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I, uh, lodge another arrow into this ogre zombie, and that ends my turn. He gives, he, like, stops for a second and, like, just gives you the eye. You, me, you. I see that. And then Cersei's turn. Clarence's turn? Uh, Ursul. Ursul, sorry. Oh, oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. Yeah, um, you're right. Well, so Ursul's going to... Mm, let's see, what can Ursul do? Um, mm, Ursul's going to... How about this? I was going to assist in Carly's attack. Help use the help action to assist Carly. Alrighty. Oh, I didn't know yeah. you could do that. Yeah. Fun. Okay, so what does that mean for me? Advantage on the next hit you do with your ranged attack. Hell yeah. Okay, well I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna range attack him with my crossbow. Okay. Oh, I need two. What? I figured you were going to range it to attack him by throwing a staff at him. You know, I actually have a dagger. I could throw my dagger, but I'm going to crossbow him. Crossbow! Ooh, 19 plus 5? Plus 5 is a 24. I think that's... Well, I know a fun fact about daggers. What? You can one hit a wolf with it by throwing it. Nice. Um. So that should be a hit. That's one d eight plus three, so that is eight plus three is eleven damage. And then I say fuck you. And that's it. I stay on my bridge. Alrighty. So with that being said, it is now the alls these people's turn. Leroy is just shouting, Woo! Go team! <laughs> Thanks, Leroy! <laughs> uh, Clarence has now flown higher into the air. The lava rises! It's, com it's coming for you, dragon! Wait a minute, did the boots on the nose do anything? No. Uh, right. And uh, I'm gonna need Carly to make a reflex save as well as Florence and oh, Ursel. No. Oh no! Okay, nineteen. By. Nice. Uh, nineteen plus three is a twenty-one. Two. All right, so you're able to jump swiftly out of the way over here. And then I, sorry, Dex rolls from Florence and All right. Ursel. All right. All right. 
Uh, that was... I forgot to turn off advantage. But that's, that's fine. So yep. 15. And... That's how dag. I crit failed. Great! <laughs> Which one of them crit failed? One! Oof. Well, uh, Ursul's being small and light and, you know, of, of great uh, intuition steps out of the way unfortunately for you um an ogre looking thing busts through the top of this sending the lid over the side on top of you Keep. Alrighty, and we'll we say that's on. we'll say it's like two or three points of damage two or three yeah you're not so getting the yeah, sure. Why not? But unfortunately, uh, while it didn't damage you, it does have you currently pinned, and you will have to uh, get yourself out from under the rubble. Well, that's no good. Uh, of course, this happens. And at this point, the... Uh, I believe... Don't I get disadvantage on attacks as well when I'm flanked as the ogre? can't remember. Mm -hmm. Nope. Maybe that was from a different game. <laughs> That's true. Limited arcs. All right. So he's going to try to swing at the Vista again and fail miserably. That was his yeah. turn. Florence, go. Uh, any chance you can get out of that? That's a strength check. Uh, gosh, this is going to be a field day. That should be pretty decent. Get the glit off you, and you'll have to use half of your movement to stand up. How about this? I do, um, this. Uh, this. Blade song, all right. She gets the heck out of it. <laughs> Five and 13, it's about 25, right? Or would that be... Yes, so you should get an extra 10 feet. Advantage on dexterity. And oh, yes. a, extra AC. Although, I want to remind you before you take too many crazy actions that you are in the path of fire, basically, of that guy. So he, you're in the attack range. So unless you disengage, so yeah, yeah. He ready to uh. smack. Uh, let's see, what can I do? Having said that, you do have a pretty high AC when you're in Blade Song, so he might not hit you anyway. But that's up to you. I mean, decent, decent. Uh, let's see, let's see. Um. So how far? Oh, wait a minute. So the fire thing is about this far. How far is the fire actually? Which fire? The from Clarence. Clarence is breathing fire. Who's breathing fire? That's what I'm asking. Nobody. Nobody. It, it, Axel was saying that if you move out of that spot, the the enemy will get an, uh, an attack of opportunity. He'll probably just swing at you. Okay. So she's going to still book it. She's going to book it from the 25 feet. Alrighty. And... Oh, shit. Yeah, he... he per well, what's your intelligence bonus? That's what I need to know. Four. That is pretty high, but not as high as I was hoping for you to avoid that hit because he rolled good for once. So do you want the roll or do you want the average? <laughs> I'll take the roll. Yeah. 
Hey, you beat the average. Only 11 damage as he swings his club at you when you run. Yeah, that's pretty, that still, that hurts. That, that definitely hurts. I mean, for, for sure. Damage, damage that she's already taken from the coffin hit. Yeah, poor coffin. Never and knew what she hit. did take damage last session of, um, I don't know, the whole portal, portal esque moment. Ah, yes, I remember that. That was a great fail. Worthy oh, yeah. of the channel. Yeah, I know. Great. Speaking of, it is now Lovista's turn. Lovista. The Beast. Okay. So. First thing I'll do is I'll have. This dude's flanking. I'll have. Drago start moving over this way. Nice. Um, does that provoke an opportunity attack? Um, I guess it could. Or does he not notice it? Because he's like, not looking. I mean, tech. I guess I don't know if animals can do disengage, or if they just. I have to give him the disengage action. Right. Mm. I guess it would then. Although, wants to. although he's, I mean, he's in range, but he's not facing him. Is he really in attack status? I'm going to say no. I'm going to no? say no, because okay. it just doesn't make sense for something as dumb as an undead ogre to be able to attack something that's running away behind it, in my opinion. Okay, fair enough. Then he's going to move back, because I just wanted that opportunity attack, since he knows that it's not doing that. Um... Then I will no Um Darn. Then you have like right next to me. Um Jared, you know what? I'm going to back away up the stairs. Are you going to use the disengage action, I assume? I am not. Okay. So, well, I don't believe that the, uh, and just to let you know before you take that, well, I don't believe he'd be able to reach around and smack the retreating lion if someone in front of him were to retreat. I do think. No, I, I yeah. totally get that. Yeah. All right. I'm Just totally wanted to be sure. For him to take Having the, said the that, uh, that doesn't mean he'll hit. But he did hit. <laughs> Cause uh, my armor class is now 16. Unfortunately, he gets a pretty good bonus, and he rolled an 18. Gotcha. Okay. Like Fair a dick. Enough. Uh, I will, as always, give you the choice of the roll. Give me the dice. He gets the dice. Bonk. Hey, you beat the odds. Ten. Ten. Nice. Okay. Am I doing so that right? One second. That seems wrong. That seems high for what this is supposed to be doing. Sorry about that. I just want to make sure I'm not like trying to murder people on accident. If I'm murdering people, it should be on purpose. <laughs> no, that was it. Okay. Interesting. Okay. Um, and then I'm going to. I'm going to uh, cast Chill Touch on him. Nice. So. I don't think he'll be able to save that even with his best roll. Uh, it's not a save, it's an attack roll by me, and I rolled a natural one. Oh no. Ooh, I was thinking of one of the other spells, I forget your druid, not the uh I'm used to them yeah. having their frozen uh, touch and stuff. Yeah. Unfortunate. May the rolls uh were not with you there. No, they were not. However, hopefully they're with me right now when i cast healing word on myself at second level nice yeah let's hope so let's bless see. them dice god bless them where's my other dude four better not be okay it's not on the ground so. 
we should hope a D4 is not on the screen. That's a lethal weapon. Plus four, seven, nine, still. I pretty much healed back what I took damage on. And that's... Uh, so what, I did five, ten feet of movement, and Drago has... How much movement? Oh, he has fifty. Yeah, I'm just gonna get around so he has flanking now. Nice. And that'll be my turn. Alrighty. And with that, it will be the doll's turn. Cool. I don't know, have noticed that if it's like got injured by that ogre, and she, I can use Crown of Madness on it. I could. Alrighty. Do you do it stealthily? That was going to be yes. my next question. Yep. I do it stealthily. All right. What's your stealth roll? I don't know yet. <laughs> do badly. Do oh, badly. Unless I guess to still use the one that I have. Oh, wait, what is it that? Oh, I got a 19 without even adding anything. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not like anything. <laughs> one day are so good to you. <laughs> one day soon, we'll find out you're a real, you're a real boy. Look, I get like crap rolls on everything else except for this stupid stuff. All right. Huff. I know. Poor, poor, poor. One day. Someday soon. <laughs> Do adding the glasses added? Uh, I think, I think for it's plus six. Yeah, but those are on active rolls, not on passive stats. No, I was gonna crown them. Use the extra boot. Sure. <laughs> uh, but the only thing I'm checking right now is the limit of any effectiveness on the switch. I don't know if it has any. Oh yeah. I so looks of it, and he has to continuously roll for wisdom save or some shit. So, uh, unfortunately, uh, zombies are undead as opposed to humanoid type creatures, and so they are oh. unaffected by the spell Crown of Madness. God dang it. And that's what I was checking real quick. But it was a good idea, though. <laughs> so I can't use I can't do something else. Um, I, 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 she, you would probably know that since it's one of your innate, you know, thingies that you do a lot or is based around your character. Uh, and since oh, I know you're uh, always learning and stuff you can obviously go ahead and take a witch bolt if you'd like since i also yeah, had to double was, check that cool yeah i was like that was like, that would be my up i figured you'd witch bolt are you trying yeah, to witch bolt cool. stealthily yeah can i keep my stealth bolt from earlier <laughs> i guess sure why not so technically still for my my attack yeah so for this spell at Second level, you get 1d12, I guess? Oh, no, it should be 2d12. Yeah, 2d12 damage. With a plus 6 to your modifier, so you gotta roll d20 as well. 20? That's a pretty good amount of damage. Uh, you also got to roll a d20 plus 6 to see if you hit. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. All right, hold on. So that was like a d20 plus 6. So that was, I rolled a 7. All right, so plus 6. 7 plus 6? That is a hit. Yay. And so then you... And then I, I rolled once before for my... 12 before I knew I had to do the that's fine so, you... eight. so my second one is oh, okay so 18 damage yeah. which is pretty darn good yeah it's just like oh where did that come from yep 
Who keeps shooting uh, lightning so down here? Witch bolt around As the witch bolt seems to come from Wedge. Pretty much, it's like, when did Wedge start shooting magic? Wedge, I thought you were a ranger! Uh, at which point, this guy, once again having advantage, is gonna swing at the zombie. <laughs> fuck. Oh wait, advantage. Double fuck. Wait, thank goodness it's a shitty monster. Alright, and he takes a couple more slashes and stabs at it, and it falls down dead. Woo! Again, for a second time. I hope. Now it's dead dead. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, but we still have this one over here. It, yeah, you do. That's not his job, though. It is Wedge's turn. Well, seeing that one fall over, and I'm gonna assume I see the other one that popped out of the fucking coffin over here. Yeah, no, your passive perception probably saw that. <laughs> uh, what is my passive perception again? 13? Yeah, so like that. <laughs> yes, yeah, passive perception is 13. I imagine that would get it. Yeah. I'm going to uh, take aim at it and fire arrows at it. Oh. Like this mess that we got ourselves in. Don't hit me. I actually had absolutely nothing to do with this one. S surprisingly, you know what? We'll talk after. <laughs> like, yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, and it's I, like, didn't, didn't do, I didn't do anything. Keep this in mind. There is no time for this bullshit. <laughs> we can't do this in six seconds. Plus seven, 16. That should be a hit. 1d8 plus three, six damage. Alrighty. It uh, takes an arrow and goes mm. And uh, is that it for I'm going to uh, take a step back. <laughs> <laughs> Just in case. And then it's Ursula's yeah. turn. Alright, and it gets all. And I'm guessing Clarence is still in. Uh, you know, still under the delusion. It's going to try to knock uh, Clarence out of it with a bite. Alright. Clarence is flying too. Yeah. Ursula can, can fly too. Hell yeah. Ursula is a small dragon. Oh, okay. Yeah. Almost like a pseudo dragon. Um. Yeah, that is. Well, that's not with the bonus, right? Is that with the bonus? Um. Shit, yeah. that is with the bonus. Mm hmm. Uh, unfortunately, that is not a hit, even in his preoccupied state. They just weren't strong enough to bite through Clarence's yeah. thick, thick hide. It would... Gonna have to bite harder. <laughs> yeah, Ursula's trying to drag <laughs> and, it And it's ghost. Yeah, the only thing it can do is other than a free action to try to wake up this guy with, like, limited telepath telepathy, and that's it. Oh, so I see what I see what Ursula is trying to do, and I move uh, 5, 10, 15, 20. I move right there, and then I cast Vicious Mockery at Clarence, and I say, and I say, hey, you scaly fuck, I said it's not real. All right, and uh, you got to roll that. said your mother was a hamster. Got to roll that damage for that. Oh, I thought it was a wisdom save. Bit. Oh, actually, yeah, and he made it. I just assumed he was going to fail it. He did not. Damn, I shouldn't have said anything. Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, I believe that makes it uh, the ogre's turn. Yeah. So I assume Ursula is over by Clarence, yeah. and they're both should be a good 20 or 30 feet in the air. Yeah. Putting them roughly just out of reach of this asshole. Cool dragon fight. No. And he's gonna attack this guy. I need to look at some.
something real quick. Where the hell did it go? That was his turn. He just attacked that guy and punched him in the face. Your turn, Florence. Alright, so what is Florence gonna do? Um Florence is going to um do this. On herself. Okay, uh, that is what Florence is gonna do on herself. So that bumps up her AC a little bit. Alrighty. That's else. That's what else she can do. That's it. That's it for a turn. Alrighty. That, that would probably make it Louis's turn. Yes. Yes. All right. And this one's is this one dead? Yeah, this one's dead. Nice. All right. I'm gonna go ahead and move it off of the map for now. Two. Touch. Dang it! Well, but you tried, though. I said I, I, ten. Oh, that's a hit. Oh, ten hits. Yeah. Uh, so... you'd be surprised at how low uh zombie ogre's AC is. That's true. They probably don't have very high dexterity. Yeah. Ooh, that's even better though. That's one point of damage. Well, you know, it's better yeah. than last round. <laughs> but, but the nice thing is, if I hit an undead target, it has disadvantage on attack rolls against me. So, that I'm is good. Over. That is so. good. That uh, is very good. And then it is uh, Drago's turn, who's just doing his thing, you know. Yeah, he's just. Oh, he'll, he'll move over here so that there's flanking. Nice. Very nice. And then we got a doll. Which bow? <laughs> Alrighty, yeah, roll your d20 plus six. Wait, don't, don't I just, uh, oh yeah, because it's a new target, huh? Because I already had the witch bolt down. Yeah, you already used the witch bolt on the other monster, yeah. Alright, so let's see, plus six. Okay, I got another one, that's funny. <laughs> 10 plus 6. Well, you got a hit. Yay, and then... One was a 3. The other one had 2. Dang it. But you know, you did damage, and that's the important part. Mm-hmm. That makes it uh, this guy's turn. He's going to make some swings. And they are both hits. He is a strong character. He's strong. Is that his name, Strong? No, I mean his name's Zarathos, but the the troll's brothers. Oh no, the, 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 the troll has no name. He's literally the troll with no name. Sorry, I meant ogre. 
ogre with no name. We should give him a name, guys. I'm gonna call Welcome him. To a dungeon on an ogre with no name. Maybe. Henry. How about Henry? Uh, Henry the Undead Ogre? Yeah. I can dig it. It kind of rolls. It's time for Wedge's turn. Like the cheese. Do more magic, Wedge. I'll think about it. You sounded very. You had a, it sounded like you had a southern accent there. I'll think about it. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> Anywho, um. Give me a second here. Yeah, I'm just gonna fucking fire arrows at the motherfucker. <laughs> it's like, nah, this, this is what I got. I was gonna move into range and just melee attack it, but I was like, you know what? Nah, fuck that. I'm gonna keep my distance from this piece of shit. Uh, but... Plus seven. Fifteen. One D eight plus three. Eight damage. Nice. And that would make it Ursul's turn. And Ursul's gonna try to at least get some way to snap this thing out of it. Um, with another bite. Alrighty. Well, that looks like a hit this time. Yeah. But you do gotta roll the damage. Ursula's trying. Ursula's trying. <laughs> Can we appreciate this? Ursula is trying. I appreciate you. <laughs> and so does <laughs> so Florence. And I think that's. And maybe use a free action to say, wake up and the floor is not lava. At uh, which point Clarence is like, holy shit! Where'd all the lava go? Lawrence ate it. Damn. Hey, no, I didn't. Yeah, she did. I saw it. No, I didn't. And then, uh... I I drank with all the lava and water. Wedge ate it. Which, uh, the tiny pseudo dragon Ursul is laughing, is la smiles like. <laughs> what? What is that? What is that? I want to know. You do. I know. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, but the thing is, Ursula cannot translate that to you because it can't. It can't speak. So you can speak. <laughs> Ursula, I'm getting it in the middle of this. I mean, at this point, this is perspective. You, you just said that Ursula drank up lava. She's a seal. Think about that, David. I, I mean, I know she's pretty nice. So that was You'd be right. <laughs> oh, shit. This gets better and better. <laughs> oh, gosh, great. Oh gosh, everybody's enjoying this, isn't it? It's turning into two people officially can understand. <laughs> and everybody's just slowly erupting into, we're all laughing at this. I'm gonna just sit there and pet it. 
<laughs> Meanwhile, it's uh, Carly's turn. Um, MVPs of the entire game. Sarah Schoen Clarence. So, um... I love Ursul. Ursul did some good numbers, too. I am going to shoot him with my crossbow. Can you specify him? There's quite a few of oh. And him. many of them you want to shoot with the crossbow. <laughs> I mean, at least two that I want to shoot with the crossbow. Him. Big bad evil guy. Big bad okay. evil guy. And then I'm five. Fourteen. Unless, unless we're aiming that should be a hit. Um, wedge. Cough. Unless you're aiming to hit wedge. No. Fourteen. I mean, hey, Wedge yeah, is being a should nice be a guy hit. this time. He's not or is that damage? He's not to fight shit. But where the heck can he go? Nowhere at the moment. He should be back by the arrows. Exactly, he can't really go anywhere. Third what? time in a row, we're like max damage. That's an 11. All right, 11 it is. And that makes it his turn. Oh, no. Wait, his turn or Ursul? Uh, Florence's turn. Should be the monster's turn. Then Florence's okay. turn. Alright. And he attacks this guy with a hit. And he smacks him a good one. And you see Zarathos fall over. Oh, uh, no. I think he's dead. No, he just passed out. Oh, Jesus. Isn't he supposed to be like this big, bad, undead lich or whatever? Or No, wait, that's the other one. Never mind. Oh, yeah, I was about to say. <laughs> wrong one! Wrong one! That's why I have all the names all fucked up so no one can know what's going on anymore. Uh, that, that makes it Florence's turn. Oh, uh, boy. Florence is like, oh, shit. That's not good. Um... Because Lawrence doesn't have much else to do, um... Hmm... Uh, Lawrence is gonna throw the dagger. Alrighty. So, how does this throwing dagger business work? Cause, uh, I don't think I wrote it down, let me go check. Uh... <laughs> Okay, so she's throwing it. I'm gonna hope this works. Well, you're gonna throw it. Whether or not you hit is a different matter. Indeed. Alright. Does that hit? That should hit. Or six piercing, alrighty. It's a strong dagger. Good throw. Can you do it? It was a good throw. <laughs> it was a good throw. And, and uh, yeah. And Florence is going to do one other thing. She's going to do a spell as a bonus action. Alrighty. And she's going to do it to Ursul, of course. Alrighty, Dragon's Breath. Mm -hmm. Let's make. Oh, that was that was no, unfortunate. No, 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 no that, that's uh, she just cast the spell, but it's just that she, it does that. Oh, I know. I was checking this thing, and he made this the deck safe. Sadness. Oh, oh, oh no, no. How it works is that it, but it's on their turn. Oh, okay. So he doesn't yeah, have to make that save for a while. Exactly. That's La Vista's turn. Okay. She's maybe she should have Drago attack. <laughs> Why? 
No reason. You know, your taxes have been okay. going decent. Oh gosh, I'm guessing undead. De it's an undead fight that he's looking for. He's looking for an undead fight. More undead fighting. Undead fighting boxing underground arena. I know, right? Uh -huh. Nah. Sure. There you go, we'll do a bite. Oh, yeah. Go for it, Diego! That's a natural 11, so... Well, that's a hit. Uh, okay, so that's a 1d6 plus... Four. Four. Great! So happy that I keep rolling ones on the <laughs> So, uh, well, at least you have, damage. but at least you have the plus four. That was the reason I went with that one. Yeah. Because <laughs> then, if you don't get a good roll, at least you have the nice bonus. <laughs> so five damage. Uh, do you want to go back in the coffin for a while? Your rolls were a lot better in the coffin. <laughs> <laughs> it's been a long day. See, I haven't slept. <laughs> no. <laughs> I, I swear to everyone's just gonna sleep in this room for the night and say fuck it. <laughs> we could help. You could. Uh, having said that, it is once again the doll's turn. I mean, uh, the random source of mystery's turn. Which ball just randomly does a thing again. Alrighty, so. Or not drugs. Wow. So I think you just it's have to. I just pant. I just have to pay for, uh, do damage, no? Yeah, I think so. Alright, one was an 11. The other one was a. Yeah, that's a 6. And uh, what appears to be Sergio just firing lightning out of his mouth uh, strikes the ogre and it <laughs> falls over to its death. Nice! What a good snake. Pat, pat. So. Now that it's dead. I say, Wedge, I didn't know your snake was magic. <laughs> I didn't even listen. Oh, God. Listen, I don't mean to say it like that. <laughs> I mean, he's too late. You're He's got the magic that? snake. It's fine. No. <laughs> Fuck it. I meant it. <laughs> <laughs> Am I supposed to say that? That's... Step? Well, Sarah shows not the only one that's a magic snake. Mm hmm. Don't. Oh gosh, please don't. You just hear Florence say, please don't. I just stare at you with a flat face. Xerathos bleeds. That's the face I'm looking for. In the meantime, Florence is gonna go help, you know, if he's okay. I'll help. I'll assist. <laughs> Medicine check? Yes. But who wants to do it now? I did it last time. Okay, I'll do it this time. Okay. I'd come help, but that's so not a uh, wedge thing, even though he's good at medicine. <laughs> you literally have the same bonus as all of us. Yeah, so please, no. <laughs> I don't care, but I have a better <laughs> bonus than all of you. He's like, yes! <laughs> he does too. Damn druids. <laughs> Yeah, we're aware the Jews get a pass, so we're just gonna leave them be. Druids always get a pass. I don't think of it. We, like, we don't, we don't care if you're alive or dead. As all druids. <laughs> life is life. Yeah. Or and death. For me, <laughs> death is just okay. It's also true. But yeah, uh, that that you know, you seem to stabilize him. He's doing okay. He's not, you know, dying anymore. Looks a little bit weird, awesome. but you know, he's all right. Awesome. Um, is he a, is he awake? No. Cool, 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 cool. I turn to Avitsa and I say, "Loot his body." Actually, 
Yeah. I say, <laughs> what, what are the odds you think he'd know if somebody rooted through his pockets? Oh gosh, and when Schwartz looks at both of them, don't you dare do this. Come on. I mean, we already... I mean, come on, didn't we already do enough damage? It's, uh, off warning to look at Carly, like, we don't. I'm still looking at the Vita with a big old smile on my face. Uh, I think he's like, don't you dare, with a strained smile, like, don't you dare. Uh... Drago remembers his living years just as fine now as he did then. So that's what probably up to you to see if you want to sneak it. Hmm. That his unconsciousness allows for memory loss. Mm. In the meantime, Florence is going to be a smart ass. I do it. I loot his pockets. I kind of very carefully just kind of root around in his pockets to see if I find anything interesting. And which Florence, in the meantime, is going to point out that this person has been in a room full of treasure. I also still don't know that it's Zarathos. Listen, <laughs> <laughs> Was that on accident? What do you mean? <laughs> okay, uh, so what do I roll to loot him? Uh, uh there would be sleight of hands, I would think, because he is I, unconscious. I, yeah, I really don't even think you'd need sleight of hand. I mean, investigation, I guess? Oh, gosh. Because you just check oh. since he's unconscious. Oh, oh like this? Um, alright, so you searching with an 11? Do I see anything cool? Uh, let's see. Bless you. Go to my handy-dandy notebook. Bless you. Bless you. Question. This one. There we go. So you found a nice fancy dagger. Hmm. That's it? I mean, for an 11? Yeah. Okay. I put it back. <laughs> and I stand up. Any chance, um, since she did have the dagger in her hand, can I take a brief moment to, like, examine it? Definitely. I was also going to say we're uh, we're probably hitting about that point where we're going to wind down in the next 10 to 15 to finish off the adventure, just because I know it's about that time for oh, Diffie right. and stuff. So it would be an investigation? Uh, probably, yeah. I mean, why not? I, she does have the dra uh, pseudo dragon with her. Pseudo dragon is over here. Uh, so with that. You find a scroll with a ruin on it. Ooh, what's that? It seems like it's it's a ruin. It has a ruin on it. I'm mm, I'm not sure entirely. Is it magic? I would suspect it would be, but I'm not sure what it kind of magic. Hmm. Should we take it? No, we're putting it back. I guess it was curious. But I want. But we we gotta know what it is. I can take a guess. Uh, do a. Uh, so would it be an Arcana check? Yeah, Ooh, for a room. Yeah. 
I help. You can sleep this. So, with that check on Arcana, you are able to tell that it is an exploding ruin. Oh shit! And what she nearly says, oh shit! <laughs> and she puts it back and says, yeah, no, 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 we're not, we're not taking this. What to do? It explodes. It's explosive. <gasps> but you see, just. You see just Carly's eyes just sparkle a little. <gasps> no, 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 no. We found out what it does and that did we agree on that? I I didn't agree with anything. I just wanted to know what it did. I didn't say yeah. what we do that. Okay, but can we at least leave it alone? Should we vote? I'll say it. No. You know, <laughs> as as your ringleader I think we should take a vote on it. All in favor of taking it. I raise my hand. Wedge <laughs> raises his. Sarah Show pops up, raising his head. Three. Anyone else? Lawrence. Uh, Lawrence says no. Leroy. <laughs> Leroy tentatively <laughs> raises hand. <laughs> Leroy, you didn't. Uh, Leroy, you didn't know. Before the dog can. <laughs> I'm sorry. I said, and technically the snake could raise the hand of all of the doll's hand. I'll count that as five. <laughs> yes, <laughs> oh, come on, Nick. Do you think that's true? An explosive ruin. Yeah, but listen, okay. I didn't tell you about what happened, did I? I'll take it. I'll take it. I take it. No, 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 no. You will not take no such thing. I take it out of his pocket and I say, listen, Florence. We can't trust him. I mean, can you trust him with something this dangerous? And this what do you mean you can't trust me? I didn't kill any of you during that fight. Who, Wedge? What? I'm not thinking about you, Wedge. <laughs> I mean, I'm, I'm not a guilty conscience, my man. <laughs> you know what? <laughs> I mean, what? Yeah, that sounds about right. It sounds absolutely right. At least I have some moral codes. I mean, I, we can't hey, trust Zorathos. I have moral codes. I mean, in this current state of mind, you do have a point, but at the same rate... I mean, what if... Uh, okay, how about this? I'll agree to it, but I keep a, I'll hold on to it. No. Yes. Nope. We, uh, think about that from my standpoint. If he holds on to it, and she points, is gesturing over to Wedge, he holds on to it, and something goes wrong, and something goes explosive, we can all blame him, and it won't be a good thing. I, I, say, I say we let Clarence hold it. No! Out of curiosity, how hmm. does this work? Because there's a chance we might not even be able to use it, Wedge. It might have to be a magic user. Or, well, I'm a magic user. Yeah, that's me. <laughs> Listen, I have one spell left. I start, I sometimes forget. Um, how does it work? Uh, well, basically, all you need is the intelligence to read the runes on the scroll in order to activate the spell. Which How do you know that? I know, right? That is a good question and very much a raising concern if we really, really. Shouldn't this be a little bit more concerning? He understands how those things function. Well, I mean, he's probably kind of smart, I guess. Just because when I'm a ranger people. doesn't mean I'm incompetent of how things work. But you I don't use magic. Work. I know, not as often. They say me. Does he use magic? I yes, mean, though. 
I mean... Wedge, do you have spells? Do you not see Sarah show sit there and spit out that lightning? Uh, I mean... Hold on, can I insight check that? Please, yeah, man. do it. Wait. I my persuasion. Uh, I don't know if that's it persuasion or deception. It's deception. It's straight up deception. Uh, that's okay. It's a plus two year away. <laughs> wow, well, I got a one. Oh, let's see. Not 20, so roll well. <laughs> it would floor into a 23. You lose. I know you're lying. <laughs> but can you prove it? <laughs> I just give you a look. I give you a look that says I know you're lying, but I don't say anything. I say... I say instead... I think we should keep it. Because you two don't know what Jenny Cataracts and I talked about. But we can't trust Jenny Cataracts either. We can't trust either of these people. But you, so you don't even trust me to hold on to it? I mean, what the heck am I gonna no, do? You think, I mean, I mean we, can't trust, we can't trust Zathros or Generax. I really need you to get better about using people's names as opposed to unclear reference. Yeah. Because Wedge has a guilty conscience and, and I think, I think uh, Florence, I think you're sensitive. Sensitive. It's a good thing. In this instance? Sure. Anyway. <laughs> gives you a look like, wait a minute, what do you mean just <laughs> So I hand it I hand it to Florence. Yes. yes. And I say, Miss Miss, you've been so nice. Yes. This is the weirdest post I ever randomly got sent. <laughs> I said, I said, I said to you, or I said to to Florence, I said we can't trust him. Him being Generac, or not Generac, him being Zapros. And you said, why can't you trust me? I didn't shoot any of you. I wasn't talking about you. I was very clearly talking about Zapros. I know. This is great. So yeah, yeah. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> she'll, she'll keep the scroll. She'll put it, make sure to keep it safe. I get up and I walk over towards Wedge and I say, I say, um, don't feel too bad. I, I, mean, I, whisper, I whisper. So she can't hear me. Plus my glasses with my plus six stealth. Um, I whisper and I say, don't feel too bad. If we get caught with it, it'll be her fault. Hmm. Can I, Those glasses can I hear that with a perception way. check? I mean... I I know. Know. Nope. Yeah, and let's see if the dragon catches this shit. 18 plus... Stealth of I mean, 22 plus 6 is well, 28. Technically, you have to think about it. If she walked over to me, I'm still standing right here. So her character would be about over here, or over here, or over here. Yeah, I'd be, I'd be about here. And I would say it like facing, facing out, but kind of like leaning towards him. With like my hand on, on his shoulder, like I'm consoling him that he lost the scroll. I mean, we'll still defend her, of course, when it comes down to it. Well, I will. I don't know what you do. And then I say to the larger group, I say, just be careful. Okay, so this is happening. Mm-hmm. Uh, I don't have a feeling. <laughs> oh, oh, God. I hate my life. I just want to look at him. 
And then I walk away. That same flat expression. <laughs> and then I walk away. And I say, just be careful. Because we did kind of technically steal something. From the leader the of the time. carnival. Wouldn't be the first time. Would be the first time from the leader of the carnival. For, my, for me, at least. I don't know what you're up to. Um, hey, this is Zephyros? Yes! And oh. these guys are lovely folks. In the meantime... Oh. In which Florence, in the meantime, is just looking back at the scroll. Is there any chance Florence can co make a copy of that scroll? For gosh sakes. Can you put it in your spell book? The the scroll was on the scroll, no. But she can make. See, I wonder, will Laxel let me make a copy of it? Well, at least Florence make a copy of it. Axel? Sorry, one more time. Can Florence make a copy of the explosive ruined scroll? Uh. She could try. She has a parchment parchment paper for it. Does she uh, know how to inscribe a scroll? Inscribe a scroll. Or a rune to create a magic item. Something along those lines. I mean, can do? I thought I I, mean, I thought it was kind of a thing that they that mages can do in this instance. From my knowledge, wizards are the only ones that know how to really like inscribe scrolls unless you know you have like proficiency in cream calligraphy tools, I think. I thought she was a wizard. Yeah, I am a wizard. Oh then oh, cool. I remembered my party correctly. See, to be honest, this is the first time that I'm interacting with Florence as a character. <laughs> Yeah, every, other, every other thing that, that Jewel has done when I've been here has been behind the scenes. I know, it is great. That is hysterical. And then there's why she does both. Uh... Wedge has a fun plan for everybody. Oh gosh. What do you have a plan for? What's your plan for me? What's your plan? That's, that's for later. That's creepy. Don't talk. Don't talk about that. Don't talk about later with a shit eating grin. I don't like that. Um. So I go up to Ivica, and I stand right about here, and I say, "So, what did you do with them?" What? What? What did you ask? You cut out. What do we do with them? With Zathros. So to scribe a scroll to a or spell to a scroll requires gold and time casting. Cantrips cost fifteen gold and take one day to scribe the scroll. Oh shit. Yeah, so you're looking at something very expensive. For which that changes. It? Not for the spell itself of making it a scroll. Oh, but, gotcha. Right, it's it has Not nothing. Putting it in her book, it's it's making a total separate scroll that somebody else could use. Gotcha. Right. Okay. Now to copy the spell, that's different. Well, she is copying it from one the one that she already has, the one that was found on. Right. So that would it would take a day to you for you to make a copy of it. You it could copy good. the formula for the spell into your book, and that would take like I think it's like an hour or something. Yeah. Uh, okay. But the actual making of another scroll would take a whole day and cost you fifteen gold in supplies. Okay, so she'll just copy it in her book. Oh yeah, just copy it in your book and then put it back. 
Okay. Exactly! Exactly! You guys are all mean! Don't even check if her, she can just copy the thing and then just say later on, hey, can you make this into a scroll? Listen, yeah. I'm not a wizard. I'm not doing yeah. look like a wizard. Does this oh, look like you a wizard? You're a wizard, Carly! <laughs> <laughs> well, to be fair, out of character, you were about to throw um, Floyd's under the friggin' bus! <laughs> no! Okay. Literally, I don't care if he was into it, but the web wouldn't get it set. Yeah, out of character, it was the wedge wouldn't get upset. Uh, and then he always viewed us, quote unquote, accidentally. <laughs> yeah, that sounds about right. That sounds right. <laughs> I, I wouldn't accidentally shoot you. Oh gosh. Yeah, that's the concerning part. We just. That flat look is back. And I would only purposely shoot you if you give me a good reason. Alright. Well, is there anything else important we need to take care of uh, before we end out this session? I mean, like I said, other than Florence doing that copy and then putting it back in the ringleaders, uh, when the ringleaders, um, that, uh, where they found it. So, two of it's, uh, I say, so what should we do with him? Is he breathing? No, he's stable. He's just unconscious. It's just that I don't have a thing to wake him up. I don't have any water skins to wake him up. Don't don't wake him up yet. Give her an hour. The best thing to do for unconscious, based on battle, is to not move. Ah, him. okay. So, copying a spell into the spellbook. When you find a wizard spell of first level or higher, you can add it to your spellbook. If it is of a spell level, you can prepare, and if you can spare the time to decipher and copy it. Copying the spell into your book involves reproducing the basic form. You must practice the spell until you understand the sounds of gestures required, then transcribe it into your spell book using your own notation. For each level of the spell, the process takes two hours and costs 50 gold pieces. Oh. The cost represents material components you expend as you experiment with the spell to master it, as well as the fine inks you need to record it. Once you've spent this time and money, you can prepare the spell just like your other spells. If it is a spell in her school, though, she does that get time yeah. Time is half. Yeah. Time but, is half. But given how what type of mage she is, that doesn't apply to her. It doesn't apply to her. That's the sad part. Then is you, that then you risk the fact you risk him waking up during you transcribing the spell. Hmm. Yeah. yeah, trust me. It, it sucks, especially since that should put that, you know, the school that I picked does not allow it because of, um... <laughs> uh, I don't talk about it. I don't talk about it. You, out of character, I gave you the school and then walked away, so if you want to put it back and avoid any kind of bad consequences, you can. <laughs> Yeah, but she is going to want to copy it. That's fair. Now it's your choice. I mean, <laughs> copying it and flat out stealing it is two different <laughs> things. At least she can cut it off saying she, and she wanted to learn the spell. That's the difference between theft and plagiarism, thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Meanwhile, <laughs> I said to this way. I say to Avitza, no, I, I don't. I don't care that he's unconscious. I mean, he's the bad guy, supposedly, quote unquote. So, should we tie him up? Um, but also, he's not normally like this. So, bad guy from a perspective. Exactly. Now, here's the thing. Mm hmm. He might be trapped down here. We do not know where we are. Do you know we, where we are? Um, Absolutely not. We am guessing presumably in here, Florence say, presumably we're still in the tent. Just in pocket dimensions that we have not seemed to find an exit for it now. Then we take him with. We save him 
from this pocket dimension and those who save those the others around them usually get something in reward oh. our reward can be information yes because normally he's not like this from what um i've been hearing from other people you know yes very clever but, uh, uh, i i i will also say that Wait, you what? cut out. You cut out. He's gone. Oh god. No. Well, I think that about seals it. Well, rip. There he goes. Bye. Bye. That's okay. It was about that time anyway. It's nine o'clock. Yeah. We'll continue. We'll continue. Uh, uh, next going back time. About this later. Yep. Next time on D and D Z. But yeah, thank everyone for joining as always. Um, so, but then again, but then again, you want to shoot I need to inter I need to interrupt everyone for a moment. Yeah, yeah. Because something just happened. Oh no! Because oh, no. someone's. I need to double check this real quick. One second. Where's my file with all these? The doll do this time. It's not always the doll. Oh, wait, 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 wait. We were being very loud. It could be Zathos waking up. I'll admit I was thinking of doing something, that's... but that was not Yeah, I figured thing. that's exactly what it was for. <laughs> <laughs> the thing is, when you roll like that, you definitely think you're being that. <laughs> okay, <laughs> man, this, I, I thought this was partially out of character. <laughs> so, uh, basically, you just, just, uh, <laughs> yep. <laughs> Let me go ahead and just scroll that, yep. I mean, I just assume it goes through the way you said it, just, you know, your roles are relevant. <laughs> so, basically, uh, you just hear a loud foot thunk, and there's like an arrow sticking out of fucking Zerathos. So you trace its pattern back, and uh, Wedge is just there holding a fucking bow. Wedge, what the fuck? I know, right? And see, this is the thing that I did in there. <laughs> no, no, the heck is it? And Oh shit! It's going down. I just love that is the thing. The fucked up part. I, I don't want to ruin it though. I can't ruin it. <laughs> <laughs> Everything is so crazy, and it's amazing, and I love it. By the way, by the way, I need to roll my damage, and then I need him to make a constitution save, because that was a poisoned arrow. Here's the question. Was he laying down on the ground? And did you roll that attack with disadvantage, if so? He this should be good, on the ground. It's a good question. Why would I be rolling for disadvantage if he's Because if, he if he is a prone creature, any ranged attack against a prone creature is at disadvantage. That does sound right, but we just never end up shooting stuff that's on the ground. Because we're not In one campaign where our, 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 we were fighting a bunch of Kenku that had bows, bows and arrows, and our, uh, our moves were always stand up, Fire, lay back on the ground so they so they had disadvantage to shoot up <laughs> the entire combat. Which you could absolutely do using half your movement speed. Yep. It it is. I've actually seen some people do it. He might do better, honestly. On his disadvantage, he rolled pretty shit on that roll anyway. Well, it would be his. It, that would be the roll then. Right. That's that's why. So I mean, you take another roll, but I didn't know about that. That's on me. All right. 
watch this be a fucking permit. It was almost exactly the same. Oh, wow. <laughs> exactly the same. All right. Well, yeah. Uh, I also want to note that and I'm doing this as a DM. I'm making this choice. Cherry show just looks so fucking like done. He's just like, God damn it. Just like if a, if a snake could like facepalm Clarence as well is just like, fuck, man. Yeah, face and I don't, blame, I don't blame him. I don't. And Floyd wouldn't blame him. And when she's just like, oh gosh, dig it, take me out, take me out. Everyone, out. everyone just calm down. Don't actually take the arrow out, because then he'll bleed to death. Leave it in for like twelve seconds. Um. I think he did a fifteen, Michael. Say what? I think he got a fifteen. Alright, so I'll roll the damage. Roll 1d8. So that's the damage from the arrow by itself. And the poison is 3d6 and half on a save. And he made the save. Wow. Good job. Hey, it's a 13. Better still be alive. Yes! Yes, what the heck you? Dead. Well, he was stable. But and... not anymore. <laughs> <And> okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> but I don't think we can keep everyone around too much longer, so we might have to go back to this. Yeah. And when she will do a freaking medicine check, because she is. Nope, 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 nope. She's like, she's panicking. She is fucking panicking. Wes. I'm going to assist her medicine roll. I absolutely adore Vitz's idea. If we keep this person alive and help them get out of this death trap, then they'll reward us with money. And yes. we want money. I don't care if he, if he might be an imposter. He might not be. And you just might have just killed one of and made someone at least happier here. It's you know okay, it's okay. Even better. What? Letting him die and taking all of his possessions. No! <laughs> and that's why we found the dagger and the scroll. And that's why we put them back! There's nothing we there's nothing we can take from him. We were what? better off at, we were better off in the treasure room than taking his stuff. And let's get we... back to the treasure room. Then why don't you go and go talk to the runes and make them take you back there? No, 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 nobody leave yet, nobody leave. We're all fine, we're all happy together, right, Florence? Yeah. We're all happy together. Yes, but it's just a you being an idiot. So I'm not being an idiot, I was perfectly logical and sound in my choice. Uh-huh. You yeah, yeah, the stupidest thing right? you have ever said. <laughs> thank you, thank you, uh, thank you, thank you, Vista. <laughs> Clarence, Listen, okay. Clarence is just like pulling the SpongeBob meme, like, well, all right, I'm gonna head out. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, I so it. I guess we are done for the night, but we will come back to this. That's all right. I like, was... I like. It's just like a TV show. We come back on like drama. Like, you don't end the show when there's nothing happening next time. You end the show when someone just revealed that they were their long-lost evil clone twin of twice removed, and they're the real inheritor of the fortune. Can, yeah. we send, can I just ask one thing? Can we end on the medicine jack uh, with advantage? I, all right. That's, yeah, that's fine. We'll, we'll do that. And I help. Yeah. Right. Yeah, and if we need to, I have an herbalism kit with proficiency. All right. Well, you should be able to stabilize. Since you know you got three people working like doctors around, <laughs> just yeah. stat, I need it. I, I launch another arrow at it. <laughs> oh my god! That's it's gonna have to wait till really next really fucking yeah, round. Is going to try attempt to kill you. <laughs> There's gonna be a huge in fight of, in front of him. Do it! I'm gonna stand in front of him because I was assisting and I was standing. I would have had to be standing right there. So does that give Zapros some cover as well as disadvantage? <laughs> exactly. And Florence is going to take that bullet. Just so you know, I have sharpshooter. I ignore coverage. Fuck. Yeah. 
You, you, but uh, with a skill with disadvantage. I mean, for the prone thing, as far as I know. We're the... gonna come back to you trying to shoot him again. Do <laughs> <laughs> you know it? I'll, I'll just do it like this. <laughs> my disadvantage. Uh, let's see here. Uh, Thirteen. Yeah, he probably hits him. But, He's flat-footed uh, and not wearing a with, with another poison with... arrow. Does he not have armor on? He's no longer wearing his full plate. Weirdly. Oh, dang. Yeah. When did he take off his plate? Tee hee hee hee. <laughs> Wait a second. <clears throat> Wait a second. Okay, before we actually go for the week break, can I insight check Zapros's body? Hey! Look at that! Can I do it? Go for it. <laughs> and, and Florence is helping this shit. Oh, so I have advantage? Yes, Florence is not gonna let this shit show go. First one was 11 plus 3, so 14. Second one is 19 plus 3, so a 22. And as you stare long and hard, finally <laughs> staring at uh, our good friend Zathros you come to see a certain somebody he's so much bigger than Zathros how the F is that wait a second wait a second if it's a, this he's right which is right. Good. Yeah, but... Right. but guess what? He's still a fucking idiot. does only actions and has no care for anyone else. It's not oh, wrong. It's really, really. really? not really? wrong. <laughs> you're both. You're both correct. My thing is, uh, all right. I'll put this on twofold. One. Uh, I, I definitely flashed a hint. <laughs> I don't know if people were paying attention when I did it. I was busy turning it on lights and was away from probably the time before. But I flashed a I hint, it, and there were, there were a couple of hints. So, uh, you remember when you first saw him, right? Yeah. How no. did he... Alright, except for you. How did he bust <laughs> out of his illusion the first time? I hit him with a rock. But after that... Because your rock went, and then what did he do? He hit the anti-magic shield, and he kind of hiccuped? Right. And then what happened to him after that? What was his next big action, as opposed to talking? Uh, I don't remember. I know. It was... He stepped back down onto the floor. Oh, shit, you're right. And he was immediately reaffected. Even though anti magic field lasts for an hour. Mm. Okay, Wedge, you get this one. You get this one and you it like a squirrel preparing for winter. You were right. But still, Florence says, but still, it didn't wait to just hit him. Oh, there was also We're... one other hint that both, I think it was either Ursula or Florence, I can't remember. Maybe it was, who ended up in the room with the chair? The throne. The better question is, who's in the room with the moose? Woo! True. Wait a minute. With the chair... Was it when Florence was like for a split second? Yeah, you remember you stopped to check out that body? No, I don't think there was a. Here, let's see. Are you talking about the one with the diamond cross in the body? Ah, yeah, sorry, I forgot I changed it to a cross. That was, that, that that was, was me. It wasn't just you. You're not the only one who visited that room. Ah. 
In fact, most of you all visited similar rooms at one point or another, except for Treasure Room Group. I was in a coffin. Yeah, except for you. You were not here during that room swap. This is my second room. And my second, my room was me jumping from portal to portal, like bouncing twice. But it was like supposed to be in rapid succession for a brief second. But I actually took damage, and probably I was more sore from the fact that I had take damage. You get what I mean? Yeah. So. Oh my God, the chat log is so long. I know. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to why I'm not allowed to do some of the shenanigans in Zood. As well as neither oh, is what. Axel, you also have to remember that some of our chats and whatnot were in Discord. Yeah, that's why I was looking on here is because I know that one I did on... Uh... Mm -hmm. You will never hear me say the phrase, Wedge was right again, so cherish it now. <laughs> cherish the phrase. But then you have events uh, and Florence that are agreeing with it. Um, he's still an idiot. Shit, I don't know if these will show up in here. I didn't think about that. Can he not have one moment of happiness from me? No <laughs> happiness. He's got one compliment from me ever, and it was this. Oh, wait, no, this is today's one. So. I mean, Florence that's, still that's thinks not he's... why he has a straight face. Here's the thing. This is also... Evita's like first interaction with Wedge, and she already hates you. Well, no, well, just no. not like actual like verbal interaction. You also were there when he shot that guy. As well, I was in the back, but he was also heckling. He was heckling during my performance. That's true. I, yeah. oh, I very much hate this guy right now. Yeah, as well as let's not talk about he. It doesn't matter. Still screw up the whole whole thing. There it is. In, in which Florence is aware of this. Keep this in mind. Out of character. So, you so, so she's really not happy with them. I also know some things. There it was. You're not making. Uh, oh. You're not making a lot of friends. Oh yeah, that was for a brief moment. Wait. Wait. 4K? Wait a minute. Does that mean... Yes, it does. Does that mean, and then this is just me going off on a limb, that uh, this bloody boy probably screwed over the actual... Oh, shit, dolls. Well, I'm going by there. I'll, uh, yeah, we'll yeah. see you later. It also didn't help that uh, Wedge didn't reveal that Clarence told him that that wasn't Zarathos from the very beginning. But you also, wait a minute, but also, when did he say it? Uh, he said it pretty like much before you started listening, right before you started listening in, they were whispering and he stealthed over to talk to Clarence. Yeah. Uh, so, on that stealth. so he beat everyone's passive and then shortly after that you asked to like listen in on stuff and he basically got attention drawn to him after he broke stealth when he uh, hit the statue to break it but he was really kind of like hanging out in the back that whole time and was even like kind of trying to talk to Zarathos from time to time stealthily but he just kept hitting his stealth hits uh, until that last stealth hit that he crit failed. <laughs> Hashtag shooting Zarathos. Quote unquote Zarathos. Look, man, you had no proof. You had the word of a dubious dragon and a weird body. Yeah, there's, yeah the, the, I'm the not thing going is. To lie. <laughs> the I communication was. The dubious black dragon over the party. Oh, you're rude. Yeah, here's, here's the thing. You're setting yourself up to be the most. You're you're gonna be our first enemy. <laughs> <laughs> like you're a villain. You're setting yourself up to be 100 untrustworthy to anybody in this party. And at this point, like if you had taken another shot, Evita would have just started casting spells and trying to kill you. I think the other two basically would have as well. Yeah. <laughs> Remember that I did save 
one of them from being trampled by elephants. I will cover that. The fact that this movie is just like that wasn't me though. <laughs> I'm just gonna hit him with the Bobby Hill. You, I don't know you. That's my purse. As far as far as we know. He didn't have anything to do with the elephants, actually. He had to do with something else. That was technically Global fault. Clumsy giant. Yep. But still, uh huh. I mean. In fact, the uh, the elephant rampage wow. covered up what Wedge actually did. Yeah. But she, he blurbed. And then, uh, and really, <laughs> the Diffie just called attention. Is that a body? <laughs> yeah, and really, really, Carly was so upset with Wedge only because he ruined her first show, and not because she killed. Here's the thing: that. whether or not he's trustworthy or not, he's pissing people off. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> that's that's the first way to get yourself killed in a carnival. <laughs> I mean, technically, if I wanted to, I could have just started losing arrows at everyone during zombie fights. I mean, you could have, but then you would have had to deal with everyone after zombie fights. Exactly, and with yeah. my you, some choices I mean, are less. Already seem to be taking a pretty good hit. But also at the same time, Florence isn't easy to hit now. It wasn't easy to hit after she casted major armor on herself. She gets okay. the real you big bump. You also think that I only have Drago as one ally? You know, I have you got many, allies. many allies. Like Leroy, the transgender barmaid. Get him, Leroy! <laughs> From yeah, behind, Leroy flanking! <laughs> yeah, and Leroy that? comes after me, I'll put a short sword through his throat just like Troll did. I mean, Troll is a troll. <laughs> and was cosplaying as a uh, cleric. <laughs> In which I'm, that makes me more worried of how the hell did he heal Leroy. <laughs> Somebody's asking the right questions again. In which that is more concerning than answering them. I feel like that's a next week problem. Yes. <laughs>